This is a quick demo of the NetFront browser version 3.5, um, the concept version for Windows Mobile that Access put out recently. So you can see it offers uh, regular mobile websites, look pretty good. Nice scrolling, flickable scrolling. Works with the you know finger because I'm using a touch, but it also works with a stylus just fine. Over the top here, you can see there's tabs. This is the full mobile burn website. There are some rendering problems with it, but in general, it's pretty true to form. One of the neat zooming things on the program is a little hard to get up sometimes. There we go. Quick double tap and it lets you quickly zoom around the page for easier navigation. Another tap to bring it back. It's not quite iPhone like, but works pretty well. Here's another mobile website. This is CNN's website. You can see the scrolling is quite nice. Also works well with the D pad. You hold it down, it gets a little faster, zooms around nicely. So we'll load a page. Seems to handle most sites pretty quickly. I'm on a Wi-Fi connection right now. But I have had some problems with some relatively simple sites that use frames that seem to be quite slow. Right now we're running in full screen mode, but I'm going to bring up the menu and turn that off. You can see the soft keys. Uh, there's also a visual bookmark system. It's a little slow, but it's an interesting concept. You can also notice right over here, as you're scrolling, it's a little mini-map shows you where you are on the page like we've seen on browsers like the S60 browser. In terms of options, this program has a million different options, mostly under the view. There's browsing mode, that's the full browsing we're using now, and then there's quicker versions that, are, you know, that strip away colors, images, and things like that. Um, I'm using just fit browsing on this page. I'm using normal on the full mobile burn site at which point when you're using the normal browsing, then you have virtual canvas sizes you can choose, depending on how you want the page to look. Then, of course, there's regular zoom. And text size changing, all the things you would expect on a normal browser. Another cool thing is you can have settings predefined and then just quickly load them just by hitting that tab or that menu option rather um, and the settings seem to apply to the particular browser window you're looking at so you can have one page running in one set of settings and another page running in another setting. As you can see like the page here text size is the same as it was before even though it's really small over here. But overall, it's a pretty good effort. Um, it's not quite done. There's some problems with it yet, but uh, it's a good first showing for a concept version, as uh, Access is calling it.